Jackson. Go ahead. Welcome, everybody, to Small Talk Tuesday, Tiny Tuesday, as I like to call it. Uh, thank you so much for joining us today. Super pumped, super excited. We're talking about rock flower anemones. And for all of you that don't know about those, we're going to show you all about that. And we picked the perfect tank, the Cube 15, to, to start this project with. So stay tuned, share the stream. We'll be right back. Welcome back, everybody. Listen, we are pumped talking about Cube 15 today. Now, listen, the Cube 15 I got right here is a wonderful, wonderful tank. And a lot of it, it gets overlooked, I'm going to be honest with you, because a lot of people can't decide between a 10 and a 20 gallon tank. But the 15's right in the middle. It's perfect size for the people that can't make a decision. And oh, here you go. Look at the thing. We're, we're uh, wanting to try and get this up to a million likes, everybody. So the Cube 15 is the power of 15, I call it. It's almost 15 and a half inches this way, and it's about 15 and a half inches across, 15 and a half this way, and another about 15 inches tall. So, and because of the 15, it's only $150. So 150 bucks, you get a 15 by 15 cube. This thing is ridiculous. It is Starfire glass on this entire thing. It's got German silicone. It's got a glass back on this tank. It's got some teeth here that have been water etched out of the, uh, the aquarium. It's got uh, an adjustable nozzle right here for you. And it also comes with the sponge as well. It has some bio balls in there. It comes with the pump. This thing is beautiful. I mean, look at the, the quality of this. I mean, Starfire glass. It is, and people might ask, what is Starfire glass? It's, it is so crystal clear, uh, it has a very, very, very low iron content in it, so it's, it's just a, the clarity is just impeccable on this tank. Also comes with um, uh, a leveling mat as well, and we also have uh, the filter sock, which it does come with. We're also going to be running a promo today during the show, all day today. If you go to waterboxaquariums.com and type in cube15, you'll get a free extra set of socks because uh, you're going to need them. So um, really, really great, great tank. I'm super excited to start this build. I don't know how long it's going to take us, but it's going to really be pretty epic. Now, rock flower anemones. People are going to say, what is that? Well, rock flower anemones um, is a very unique type of anemone. Uh, it's not your typical uh, carpet anemone, long tentacle anemone, uh, ritter eye. Um, it's really uh, unique. Um, and, and it kind of, they're, they're kind of circular, they're small, they kind of attach to the sand and, and to the rock, and they kind of just, they don't move around too much, and they kind of just hang tight. The colors are fantastic, by the way. So we'll talk a little bit about that. Um, the, there you go, look at that water flow. So those are some pictures of the rock flower anemone you can see right there. They're, the colors are just insane. I mean, super, super insane. So the water flow is a light to medium flow, right? It's, uh, you don't need an extra power head to kind of pump the water around. It's very gentle. Um, the main thing is you want to make sure the food that you put in there gets to the anemones properly. Um, so it's really, really great um, on that. As far as the lighting, light to moderate. So really any type of LED lighting um, would go great for these rock flower nems, uh, we like to call them. They, uh, the AI Prime is one of our favorites. That's our preferred lighting that we like to use on these. Uh, you can control them, and when you uh, turn up the actinics or the blue spectrum, man, these things really start to pop. So really, really nice. You can look at that, look at that picture of that one. That's sick, man, with that orange middle like that. So these come from the Caribbean. So it's, uh, we thought, well, since we're here in Florida, we might as well kind of showcase um, a Florida region tank um, being in the Caribbean close by and uh, 
these won't also clownfish aren't going to host these anemones. These are um, a different type of anemone. Um, it's just very unique, and that's why kind of people are really, really interested in this. Water conditions. So temperature, 72 to 78 degrees, which is pretty standard. Uh, the DKH is an alkalinity level of between 8 and 12. Uh, the pH level, 8.1 to 8.4. Um, 8.2 is pretty standard. And the specific gravity, which is how much salt's in the water, 1.023 to 1.025. So as long as we keep our parameters inside uh, these water conditions, man, we should have a really great time with these flower nymphs. So we're real excited about it. The temperament, aggressive. Yeah, that's the one thing, man. Like you don't, you're gonna be real careful about what we put in there. Um, certain snails uh, don't go with these rock nems, um, certain fish. So we've got to be real careful when adding a rock nem to the tank. Um, the care level though is easy to moderate, you know, so you don't have to be an experienced hobbyist to get into this rock nem craze. Um, it's, look at the colors on that. I mean, unbelievable, the, the reds, the blues, the greens. They come in all shapes and all different colors. They also multiply in your tank fairly easily. Um, it's a really, really great um, uh, species to keep in a small nano tank, like a 15 gallon cube. So we want to go a couple shout outs here. We got um, Frank Coy, Roberto, Heath. Uh, Heath says, those are awesome. Yes, I think they're awesome too. Uh, let's also talk about um, the type of shrimp that you can actually put in these. You can actually do anemone shrimp, some porcelain crabs, some sexy shrimp, um, really neat species. And this, I think this tank is really going to be like the color explosion that we all love in aquarium keeping. So we're really excited about that. Once again, for those that are just joining us, the Cube 15 is what we're talking about today. We're going to start the build. So this is what we decided to pick out. It's a 15 gallon, 15 inch by 15 inch by 15 inch tall, uh, Starfire glass, beautiful, beautiful tank. And this is gonna be absolutely perfect, guys, perfect. I mean, this tank is three times bigger than a five gallon. It's five times bigger than a three gallon. So, I mean, what more do you want, right? So this thing, 150 bucks, I mean, shipped right to your door. I mean, you can get started and have the almost unbelievable rock nim tank from Waterbox for 150 bucks. So definitely uh, some questions here. David Murray, how many power heads would you use and where would you put them on the tank? Um, well, you could put some power heads for the rock nims. We don't need to. Um, they're not necessary because the pump that is, comes with the water box is actually sufficient enough. But if you really wanted to kind of turn it up a little bit, I would mount it right to the side of the tank, personally. Um, I would use like a little MP10 or the new um, aqua illumination pump that they have out would be perfect for right on the side of the glass. Um, that's all you really need for this tank. Um, it, it'll be really turning some water for sure. Um, Patrick Burns gives me the thumbs up. Love it, love it. So uh, cube 15 is the coupon code today. Uh, for the 15 gallon, you get the extra set of socks. Um, if you have any questions, comments, please comment below. Uh, tomorrow, make sure you stay tuned. We're going to be uh, continuing with our 100 gallon build uh, on Waterbox Wednesday, Waterbox Live. We're going to be talking about uh, ATO systems. Uh, and we found a really awesome product that we want to endorse. And I think you guys are going to love that. Um, also, um, I see Alex Murphy's watching. Jay William, anywhere in the Seattle area to see your tanks up close and personal? Well, you can actually go to waterboxedaquariums.com. Uh, we do have a dealer search uh, there listed. And if there's any dealers in your area, they'll pop up. But if there's not, I encourage you to go into that retail store and say, hey, man, you really need to get some Waterbox Aquariums in here because these things are hot. So, and have them contact us. Uh, we can get them set up as a dealer really quick and get these tanks shipped right out to you. Uh, I'm, I'm just having Mo Sean, uh, YouTube is asking when the cabinets for the cubes will be available. Yes, the cabinets for the cubes, when will they be available? Somebody's asking on YouTube. Uh, very, very soon. Uh, I know everybody's been very patient and waiting. I would say about 45 to 60 days out um, on those cube uh, stands. Um, really, really great. We kind of did some changes to them. Mm -hmm. Will you be doing a demo on the sump with on the top box system? 
Yes, I will be doing a demo on the Sumpless ATO system. It's a brand new product uh, by XP Aqua. We will be highlighting that here in the next coming days. Um, and we will install that here on this Cube 15 tank, um, which will be really, Chris, really great. Chris also asked, what light do you recommend for the 15? Yes, Chris asking, what light do you recommend for the Cube 15? My personal favorite, Chris, is the AI Prime. Um, they make it in a freshwater or saltwater version. It's really, really great. It does a nice footprint. It's very affordable. I believe it's $199. Um, it controls with your phone, has an app on it. Um, it does phenomenal stuff for such a small light. Um, I said for $199, bucks, you can not go wrong. Uh, but definitely the AI Prime is what I would recommend on this um, for sure. Um, trying to see if there's anybody else. Um, once again, guys, the Cube 15 is perfect for NEMS. Now, actually, what I'm planning on doing is I'm not going to keep a lot of fish in this tank. I'm going to actually really load this thing down. I'm going to put some Marco rocks in there. I'm going to put some sand. Maybe think about some black sand, maybe. Uh, might be really cool for the NEMS. Um, and then we're just going to load this down, and we're going to be on the hunt for NEMS. We're going to go NEM hunting. So I think it's going to be really awesome. We're going to go to local fish stores around the country. We're going to go to wholesalers, and we're just going to be looking for rock nems. And we're going to try and find some crazy colors and crazy stuff and, and just kind of handpick them at, through our travels and put them inside this tank, and we'll keep updating you guys on it. Um, also, there's a great forum, nano-reef.com. Um, those guys, there's a huge forum of just uh, small tanks, and it's Small Tank Tuesday. So um, really, really great. Um, let's see, a couple other questions. Uh, Eddie says, great light, have it on my 10-gallon SPS tank. Absolutely. Rob, can the 15 cube go on top of the new storage cabinets? Uh, yes, it can. Um, I said, with a 15 by 15 footprint on this thing, you could actually put it on any piece of furniture you have at your home, uh, a nightstand. Um, it really can go just about anywhere. But we will have some cabinets uh, that this will fit. Uh, Tran fan gives me the thumbs up. We love Tran. He's our top fan. Uh, he's doing a, a build on the group page. We love that. Uh, Jose, how much difference between the 15 gallon and the 20 gallon? How about five gallons? That's all it is, man. So listen, the the 15 is that in between size. 20 is a little too big. 10 is a little small. 15 is just right, man. It's just like Goldilocks and the Three Bears. It's just perfect size, right down the middle. Um, Brandon, is that the 15 or the 20-gallon? We're talking about the 15 today, man. 15 everywhere. $150, 15 by 15 by 15. The Cube 15, it's all about 15. Even the Cube 15 is our coupon code. So it's power 15 today. We're talking about that. Um, trying to think of what else. A couple questions from YouTube. How about, how about power supplies for aquariums? Um, there is no power supplies. I mean, I'm trying to think power supply. You're talking like power strips? Yeah, for like the pump, I'm thinking. Oh, for maybe for the pump. Yeah, we, did, we, we it just plugs right into the wall. Yeah, it plugs right into the wall. Um, it's just one simple plug. Your light will take a plug. Your heater is going to need a plug. So I would just buy a regular power strip, um, set it right behind the tank, have everything controlled on there. And remember, the light is going to be controlled through your phone. Um, through Android or Apple phones. Um, really, really great product. Um, so it'd be, it kind of will start running itself. We have a 20-gallon cube that we have set up here at the office. It's doing fantastic. It's just kind of running on autopilot. Um, but here we're going to try and do a little bit something different and really start tweaking and, and, and with these NEMS. Uh, let's see. Oscar is giving me a smiley face. Mahmood, you guys used to work closely with Current USA and their lights a while back. Any reason I don't see that collaboration anymore? No. Nope. Uh, great product they have. Um, we're just kind of moving a different direction, that's all. Oscar, five-gallon difference. Ha, ha, ha. Yes. So it's only a five-gallon difference. But once again, guys, Cube 15, we appreciate it. Tomorrow, stay tuned. We're talking about the ATO on the 100 gallon point three build and stay tuned on Tiny Tuesday as we continue this rock flower anemone build. Thank you so much for checking in with us. We'll see you next week.